Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. This is the Saturday vloggy thing. If you're new here, stick around on Saturdays is when I kind of go over what's been going on with life and stuff and um, also go over any whips or foes or any crochet stuff that's been going on and just kind of whatever else pops up into my mind. Ta-da! You know, updates and such. So, it's been a week y'all. I have some very, very pleasant news. Whoop, whoop. You know, I've been putting in applications and having interviews and stuff and well, one of them has finally paid off. I will be the team lead of our little team. It doesn't sound like much, but it does mean a nice little pay bump. And it's funny because it's pretty much all the same stuff I've been doing anyway already. Yeah, except I'll be taking direct escalation calls that my boss would normally take um, when she's out or to help her out. Yeah. Officially, I don't start the position until the 22nd of May. HR wrangling and all that sort of stuff. But um, I get a shift if pay bump because she's out of town the end of this week and the beginning of next week. So I'll be doing all of that work and they're like, yes, let her have it for that. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. I'm just glad to get a little change in title and honestly, a little recognition. Sometimes it's just nice to know that people do appreciate what you do and the fact that you have a knowledge up in the noggin. Okay. Speaking of knowledge up in the noggin, I don't know all the things about this shawl. I did not make it. It is knitted. Knitting is magic. This was made by the wonderful Gina at Knitting Turnpike and I won it during some thingamabob last year and I absolutely love it and it's beautiful and yes, it's soft and lovely and magic. So there is that. <laughs> Other stuff, I did have my doctor's appointment this past week. I told you all about that I had one and um... Basically, I got a little fatter, my A1C is a little worse, and my skin is still doing like crap. So we're taking me off the medicine they tried putting me on for my skin because that's contributing to the weight a little bit. And um, we'll check again next time. No drastic changes, just try and get up out of you, away from your desk instead of just sitting there on your butt for 12 to 13 hours a day. Get right on it. Yeah. I need to though. I mean, I'm way heavier than I feel comfortable with. I am not by any means saying that, ooh, a fat body is bad, but I don't feel as good as I would like to. And that just becomes a problem for me. Um, I know for me, I felt my best when I was at about 220, 220 pounds. I don't know what that is in, in kilos. Y'all can figure it out yourself if you need to. Now I am at about 275. So that is a big difference. That's over 50 pound difference. And even at 220, the charts and the experts say, you are still morbidly obese. Even though I could probably bench press them myself when I'm that size and fairly fit. And I haven't been 220 in nearly 20 years, let's be real here. Um, I haven't seen the underside of 200 pounds since the 90s. Yeah, when I was about 20 years old. So I'm a big girl, but I shouldn't be quite this big to feel good. So I'm gonna try to work on that. I'm not doing anything drastic, but there needs to be more movement in my life. I need to get my large butt back to the gym because I used to really enjoy it. There's just not been time. There's a wrist. There's no time. I, yeah, whatever. All right. There's some life and some stuff. Oh, speaking of stuff, I have been gathering things for giveaways uh, for my birthday week. That's right, my birthday week is coming up in June. I will have more about it. Um, I'm going to have some seed stuff for gardening things. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have um, some tea stuff for my tea things. And there will be more, of course. But just letting you know that that is a thing that's coming up. So, yes, be looking around for that. Uh, by the way, I had a boss one time. and she, I loved her to death. She's awesome. I do talk with my hands. It is a constant thing. Even if I'm on the phone, the hands are flying, right? And I would come in and try to explain something to her that needed to happen because I'm, I'm, I'm a problem solver. And she always referred to this as my interpretive dance. <laughs> so yeah, 
My husband often says, if you sit on your hands, you can't talk. He's not wrong. There's always this going on. Yeah. Okay. Crochet. I promised you some crochet. I did. What? All right. Before I get to whips and foes, I don't know what this was all about. I do want to show you that I have my colors picked out. This is absolutely jammed full. Yes, it is a Halloween bag, but that's what I'm using for this one. Um, for the next square in the hashtag rock 2022 AU being put on by Judy at Witch Piece Crafts. I will have her linked down below and up above in case you missed that. She's awesome and it's fun. An album slash genre of music will get chosen. It's twice a month, the first and the 15th. And this time <laughs> it's punk, but the album that was chosen to represent it was Chipmunk Punk as in Alvin and the Chipmunks. Wow. Judy, no. <laughs> But the, I'm inspired. I'm taking all of my inspirations from the album covers of each respective album. And at the end of the year, I'm putting all mine together. It'll be like a uh, stained glass blanket kind of dealy. So that's just going to be kind of fun. Everybody's doing different projects. You just do whatever you want. Um, Trisha, the knitting lady, made a really cool square for punk. Um, she did uh, her representation of the CBGB sign at CBGB's up in New York and I was just like yes and I had no idea no idea that she went and listened to punk music y'all need to watch Trisha the Knitting Lady she doesn't put out a ton of videos but she is an absolute hoot I will have her linked as well um, okay there are other things going on there are other make-alongs and things something else that's going on is the hashtag Yarnivores monthly theme and this month is being hosted by Miss Neva at Man Up Mama Musings, and it is April Showers. And if you want to participate, this is just a very casual, loose participate if you want to do something fun. Um, get inspired by whatever the theme is that month, by whoever's hosting it. And if something inspired you to make something that April Showers theme, for instance, take a picture of it, send it to me. My, uh, blah, 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 my, Email address is always at the bottom of my uh, my about page. And you can send me a picture of what you made. And I will show it because at the end of the month, which is coming up, I will have a, a little slideshow of the ones that came in to me. And your name will get sent to Neva. And she will have all of the names of all the people that participated just from, from me and from Neva and the other people that are participating in this. And you get drawn for a small prize. These are not big prizes. This is just, let's have some fun and play along. But not only that, you don't have to just send it to me. You can send it to all of the lovely people that are listed down below that are participating in this. It's a long list. There's a whole bunch of us and we are the Yarnivores and we just like to have fun and do some crochet and just kind of be us. So you be you and have some fun with us. I think it'll be a good time. I'll be hosting in August. Don't know what my theme is yet. It'll come to me, you know, like, like my yarn. It'll tell me what it wants to be. The month will tell me what theme it wants to be, okay? We're not doing um, necessarily any religious or holidays, so it's gotta be inspired by something else. Little challenge for us, okay? So there is that. So what did I make? <laughs> I was inspired by a pattern in a crochet magazine that I received from Lisa Ladybird Loves. And the pattern was to make a um, a zipper topped like makeup case. I don't need that. So instead I turned it into a, a little stuffy. It's a cloud. It's wonky. I put sparkly eyeballs on it though. Look, I was having problems with embroidering. Yeah, the smile is crooked. We will all get over it. The cloud is uneven. We will all get over it. But it's stuffed and it's squishy and it's all made out of cotton. And <laughs> I had fun making it and I kind of challenged myself. I had to do two sides, had to do all this stitching together. I was inspired by it. I didn't follow it exactly. So changes were made. <laughs> Decisions were made. Yeah. Um, but look, my little cloud, little cloudy guy, April showers, 
they have rainbows sometimes, right? And sparkly bits. That could be lightning. What? I know, right? But I did make it. So this is my April shower singing. Oh, none of us that are doing any of the hosting can enter to win the prize. We're just doing it because it is super fun. Ta-da! My wonky little cloud. April showers. Doop. Okay. So that is a thing that I actually finished. I'm kind of proud of myself for getting that done. And I do have finished objects in here. I don't, there are a couple of these that I may have already shown you. I know I showed you that one and that one. So we'll put those back and that one. Okay. A whole bunch of hair scrunchies in here. Okay. That a lot of them I have shown you already. Some of these I may want well, the white one. I know I showed you put that back. Okay. I was mostly working with these when I had my doctor's appointment the other day and stuff. You know, you go to the waiting room, you do the thing, you just start crocheting and Rose over at uh, Rose likes crochet. Uh, is taking stuff up for wings, the wings organization, learn more about that over on her channel. And this month, one of the things they were collecting are like hair ties and hair scrunchies. So this is using that rebound yarn that has a lot of stretch to it. Look at that. So I made some hair scrunchies, some real ruffly doobly doo ones there. This one is a different kind of ruffle. It's more solid crocheted. These are half doubles, three in each stitch on top of a single crochet. Um, see, that's a different yarn, so I'll show these others. Here's another one. This is a double crochet, three in each stitch on the single. Just make it a little bigger. Not everybody has huge thick hair and wants to wear a big hairband. Some people want something a little smaller. I just think these are colorful and fun, and I will totally make some for myself, too. At least one or two. Here's one with just little stringy doos, and it's just kind of loose and floppy and happy and fun. Kind of like a little flower. And this is one made out of some number two um, mercerized cotton that I have that I made a poncho out of that I still have some left. This is a lot smaller than the bigger ones, but it does make for a little, like just a little small statement instead of a big thing in your hair if you're not into that. And no, there is no pattern for any of these at all. <laughs> I do have a tutorial about how I do... Um, the crochet hair bands, but it's not any of those specific varieties because mostly I sit down and just start crocheting. And it's like, yeah, I think I'll try this. So that's what I do. And I make them up and I have a bunch that I keep for myself as well because I have a bunch in there. So yeah, hair ties, fun, easy, good TV project. TV projects are a thing. Sometimes, I mean, I work 12, 13 hours a day, and after we eat, we sit down and we just kind of watch some videos and TV with the occasional show. And I sit there and I crochet while I'm watching. Most of the time it's stuff that you can just kind of, you know, do that number while you're watching. Um, if it's anything that takes any concentration, I can't really do it while watching TV. That's like, it could, there could be music on and I can be doing it because I'm always doing more than one thing at a time. I listen to y'all's videos, those of you that put out content. I'm watching videos and li mostly listening, usually at time and a half speed while I'm working. Because I can do that unless I'm on the phone or in a meeting, which in case that gets turned off, you know. But that keeps my mind occupied on the videos and I can work at the same time. And I get to keep up with videos, even though I'm way behind on videos right now. Like, whoa. Okay, that is what I have been working on. All the usual whips are still in play. And by the usual whips, you know, the hubby blanket, my corner to corner, and what else am I working on? I have a bunch of things. There, there are whips, a plenty. Matter of fact, I thought I lost the hairbands that I had already made because I had them in that little bag. And I was tearing this room apart. Stuff everywhere. I'm like, where did it go? You know, one of those. It turns out it was in another project bag under another project. I think I put it there for safekeeping. I don't remember. Yeah. Be sure you stay tuned to the end, by the way. There will be a little slideshow of some plant activity and a little slideshow. Oscar will probably be in there. I'm looking at him right now. He is laying on a pile of clean clothes. My laundry is sitting there waiting to be put away. And um, 
he's looking very pleased with himself for getting to uh, lay out my clean clothes. Cat, if you've ever had cats, that's the only answer you actually need. Cat. Right? <laughs> oh my goodness, so many things are coming up. Uh, next weekend, there's an Italian Heritage Festival. Um, not too far from here, it's going to be up in Fountain in South Carolina, which is... We're close to South Carolina in, in the area of Georgia that I'm in, so it's not that far. Looking forward to going to that with some friends. Um, the following weekend, we have a little tiny Renaissance Festival here in a little town I live in, Livonia. And I plan on going to that unless something else comes up, but I, I want to go to that. There's also another craft festival and stuff. The festivals are all starting, the spring ones, uh, up in Pickens County, South Carolina. I want to get to all of them. I'll be too exhausted to do all of that, I'm sure. But I want to because I enjoy going to festivals of all different kinds and seeing what's there and enjoying just the atmosphere because most of the time it's so much fun. So, yeah. Maybe I'll have some purchases to show you from festivals. The Italian one, though, our friends that told us about it are like, yeah, it's actually been started by an Italian bakery. We're all like, I'm there. Oh my gosh. Yes. Um, yeah, because I absolutely love Italian bakeries. Of course, I love Jewish delis too. And there aren't any, any of those here. I really miss those. Yeah. Just saying. All right. I'm going to wrap this up. We're going on, oh gosh, 17 minutes now. I do thank you for hanging out. And if you haven't already, I'd love it if you hit that like button. Please leave me a comment. What have you got going on the next couple of weeks? Any festivals coming around by you? And uh, also, if you're not subscribed, I invite you to do so. Stick around. There's always something fun coming up. And if you're subscribed, you know, YouTube has a habit of not telling you when videos are out and stuff. Turn on the bell. Turn on your notifications. Or as so many people say, ring that bell or gong that bell or whatever. And so you know when I've put out a video. I normally let mine, I, I put them out like I said, I record it, except for the Saturday video. They usually go out at around 6 in the morning. Now I changed it. I used to put it out at about 2 in the morning. 6 in the morning Eastern time. So, you know, calculate from there. But they're there. They don't come down. They are there forever and ever or, or something, you know. <laughs> I hope y'all have a great rest of whatever's left of your weekend. Enjoy the sunshine if you have it. We have a lot of sunshine today and I'm kind of excited because it's been kind of dreary and rainy lately. So yay. Um, oh, I did manage to kill one of my tomato plants though. I broke it when transplanting it and it just didn't make it. You'll see that in the picture. You'll, you'll see which one is dead. I haven't dealt with it yet. It needs a proper burial or something. Yeah. I'll see y'all very, very soon. Stick around for the little slideshow and uh, bye y'all. Oscar, why are you on the clean clothes? Hey, look up here at your mama. Oscar, your people want to see you, boy. There he is. Him and his sweet little goatee. Oscar Monster Munch Munch, lay it on clean clothes. It's what he does. <laughs>